all day. Hi, welcome to HPT again. I'm Mama Bear and this is Madison. Annalisa's filming. Say hi. Hi. Uh, we are here to do a coils breakdown video for you, tell you all the different We're about to break it down. All the way. Uh, first thing, difference between side and sequoia coils. Sequoia coils uh, are just over twice as much surface area, so a bigger coil, bigger hit. Um, more surface, gonna... more of it. Yep. So we're going to start with discussing the different metal and coil types and you know, materials and stuff. Uh, first up we have canthal coils. I know those are your favorite. They are. Canthals are the are heavy wires, heavy hitters. They're hot. Canthal quartz is the only coil that we carried that wasn't designed by Vic. It's the only one that wasn't designed by Vic. Um, it's available with black ceramic. Um, Canthal has no TCR, so you only use wattage. Um, the only biggest thing about Canthal would be is you want to pulse it when you're hitting it. Definitely. You don't want to just hold it down because no temperature it's too control. hot. It has no limiter on the heat then, so it gets real hot. Um, they're available in 4 millimeters and for size and 5 millimeters for the rods for the sequoia. Um, like we said with the sequoias, you got the surface, the more vape area. Yep. Um, next we have titanium. So the titaniums are available in dual titanium, which only has quartz rods, or the triples, and they have both quartz and black ceramic. The duals are perfect for medicators. Uh, it's not a real word, but we're going to use it. Uh, they're good for slow, mellow hits, um, or like vaping a little bit of product at a time. That's so. Great. I think so. Medicators? People, yeah, because they, just, they just need their little bit of medicine and they're cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, We're putting medicators on the board. We're coining it. Uh, so the triples run really similar to the duals, except they have a third rod, so more surface, is more vape. Um, titanium's great. It doesn't have a lot of metal taste, but it is really good in temperature control, and you can use it in temperature control, so that's nice. Um, next, you have stainless steel. So the stainless steel, they're available in quartz, black ceramic. Um, two millimeter and four millimeter for the size, mm -hmm. um, but we also have a five millimeter for the sequoia. Um, stainless steel is great because it, it's reliable. It's like your old Toyota. Yeah, and it, it doesn't have. It has a very <laughs> subtle flavor. Like you don't taste too much metal with it, as in like if you went with something else. Mm -hmm. um, like we've said before, you know, when you get a bigger surface, four millimeter, five millimeter, more vape surface, more surface, more vape. Yeah, the big stainless coils are just nice because it's a big coil that you can use temperature control on versus the can balls that you can't. Yes. Um, we also do, we have the flattened ABS coil, which is stainless steel, and that's done by Brent at Advanced Supply. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Brent. Brent. Woo woo! ABS in the house. I love Roxy. Um, we have the we have the coil, but it's put into our easy housing for the coils. Makes it easier. Um, so bringing like an advanced coil to those of us that can't sit and build them ourselves. Like if we have acrylic nails, or you're old and you can't do the little shit. Oh my god, that's a good one. Yeah. Thank you, because mm -hmm. you can't. Just thought about that. I was thinking maybe now we could talk about um, the ceramic, like the ceramic donuts, the A's, the B's. The... Mm. That's all of them, right? <laughs> so yeah, we're going to talk about the ceramic coils, the ceramic donut, the Miracle A and the Miracle B. The ceramic donut is for you flavor chasers out there. Flavor! Yep. The, the ceramic donut's also good for medicators. Uh, you use it in like a low wattage temperature control mode, so it's not going to be super hot. You're not going to taste any metal. All of the metals we use, they all have a very, very subtle taste, but if you use them like side by side comparison with the donut, you can tell the difference. Super scientific experiment we all did down here at the office, super scientifically of course, uh, you can tell the difference. Yes. Um, the the Miracle A, what about the Miracle A? So those were the first ones designed by Vic, right? Yes. First one designed by Vic, he A's designed the, the A's and the B's, and then E-Capital made them for us. The A is pretty cool because it's got two kinds of ceramic. The housing is white ceramic, like the donut, and then the inside of the coil is a gray ceramic, so it's kind of porous, so you're not going to have a lot of pooling. So it holds, holds your, your, your product. product more. Yeah. The B is cool. It's exclusively for distillates, so for those of you so looking for So with the B, you that, that hole, and you just want to put your 
syringe. Just like it right in there. Yep. Next, we'll talk about the difference between quartz and black ceramic. And this is like your favorite topic, I think. So, so the, mo the main deciding factor is that like, black ceramic is porous, so it holds in your product. Quartz, it it's glass, so it's smooth, so it just kind of rolls over. And if you don't, if you overload it, then you're gonna lose a lot of stuff. You're gonna have burnt coils. You're gonna, and it's also gonna taste really nasty. Yeah, the quartz has no taste at all, so you're gonna taste just the metal on it. And always remember to, we'll get to that in a minute. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I was just gonna say, I think that's. Oh, no, it is a. So the thing is, too, is you don't wanna load it too thick. Yeah, because it'll, it'll go over. Spill. And then you'll leak, and then we'll have a big email process. Yeah, so don't do it. Okay. <laughs> um, next, we're gonna talk about uh, the buckets exclusively. First of all, they're not for beginners. No because beginners. If you've never used a box mod, don't get a bucket uh, unless you have somebody to help you. Um, they're really made for users who are familiar with their with box mods and their own mods and know how their own mods work. Both the ceramic heaters, uh, the disc and donut style, have nickel wire. So make sure you use them in temperature control nickel. Even uh, though they say ceramic. Even though they say ceramic, yeah. Or quartz. Temperature control nickel. <coughs> in the side versions, the two different heaters won't affect your performance since the side is so small. In the Sequoia, however, the disc heater in the quartz bucket will allow you to bump up to 50 watts and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Only in the Sequoia. Um, and we'll probably have a lot of people that disagree with this, but after sufficient research and consulting several experts, these are our results. So temperature control nickel is equivalent to between TCR 6 and 700. So, and don't forget, the heaters have nickel wire. Um, so the commonly recommended TCR 300 is actually equivalent to temperature control titanium. So really the main difference is that TCR 300 heats up a little bit faster, but when you're dealing with really small like pieces of ceramic that's super fragile, heating up faster, even if it's only like a second or two seconds, can't away. wear down that coil and blow yeah. it. So if you're really looking for like your prolonged coil life, you're going to want to use temperature control nickel. But of course, you use your device how you want, but you should listen to me. <laughs> um, or just always, like we say, call. Call. Yeah. Um, next thing we're going to talk about uh, third party software. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, we get a lot of questions about it. Like, oh, I, I downloaded, I, I, I flashed Arctic Fox and it's not working, working and this won't work and this won't work. Um, like we said, again, it's your device, use it how you want, but no, it will void the warranty in our mods, just to put that out there. In most um, mods, I think. The idea of our devices and stuff was just to easily medicate or, you know, get relaxed and get stoned and, you know, cheech and chong all day. Um, but using something like Arctic Fox, it just takes an easy device and it makes it into this complicated. Um, now, with you do Arctic Fox, you got to go into your computer and set your settings. Mm -hmm. So now you want to go on the lake and you want to vape. You got to bring you a can't computer. Do anywhere. You, you want to go up on the hill. You got to bring a computer, which is the whole point of using some easy here. Yeah. Um, our Vupus though, they have a DNA chip, and so you can use those. They're better than third-party softwares. Um, just let us know if you third-party did it for returning it. Yeah. Uh, final thing we wanted to touch on was resistance. There was a lot of talk about whether you should lock it or not. We don't lock it. Don't worry about it. Um, honestly, whether you lock it or not, the actual resistance of the coil will still change. So if you lock it and then try to fire it, your mod's going to sit and try to fire at the lock resistance rather than what your coil's now at. Um, so I think that's everything we have today. I think so. So stay tuned. Leave like questions always, and comments. Yeah, like we always say, give us a call. Email us question conference. Let us know what you want to see next time. Yep. We will... Wait, wait. Wait, is it... Oh. We will... Fuck. It's okay, go ahead. Anyways. Oh, Hello. hey. I'm Madison. Hi, um, Mama Bear. Hi, <laughs> baby. Uh, oh, filming is Elisa, and this is Ragged Cash, also known as Smalls. Um, 
Dragon Boy. Anyways, so we are here today to give you a breakdown of all the coils. We seem to break it down. <laughs> all the way. Uh, so let's, um, next we're going to talk about the difference between Quartz Box Remake. I know that you love to tell people about that one. I do. <laughs> So me personally, I like the black ceramic. It's um, black ceramic is porous, so it holds in your stuff. Like a sponge. SpongeBob SquarePants. Same thing. The quartz, they just it kind of it like. We will rock baseball day. That's a new one. That was I good. Like that. That's a good song. Hey, <laughs> bring it on. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Madison, Mama Bear, and Elisa filming again. Still can't see her. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> 